Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. I'm Tom. And I'm Alan. Uh, our first segment is going to be on NVIDIA graphics cards versus uh, ATI graphics cards. Which one's better? They, both, one's, yeah, they both are high performance gaming uh, video performance cards. video cards, but which one's better? Who knows? We do. Yours? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who knows? We okay, do. well, we know. Okay, apparently, I, th this is all an opinion thing. So, you know, uh, ATI is, I, you know, I like their graphics cards. ATI, I, 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 what do I have, NVIDIA? I have a NVIDIA one. Right? You have a NVIDIA yeah, GeForce NVIDIA. AM. For My the graphics card is actually really good, my NVIDIA one. I have. His is a 256 megabyte shared, yeah. which means shared between the memory. Of course, you know, the screen helps it out a lot too. The screen, the uh, newer screen helps. It's a, it's a good laptop. It definitely, that's one of their, it's not their newest one, but it's one of their newer ones, and it pl it'll play most games uh, well, really well, too. Well, there's a different, you have different it, memory, you it have plays different COD video 4. cards. It'll play COD 4 on high without even thinking about it. You have different video cards for laptops and desktops, so they, they differ, so they do differ. They, you can't put a... And my PNY, which is now PNY got bought out by NVIDIA, so now it's NVIDIA GeForce, which it used to be PNY GeForce. So I have an old PNY GeForce card. Sounds better than NVIDIA GeForce. Then. I know. I have an old PNY GeForce card, but NVIDIA took it back over to like have their drivers and everything. So it's kind of a pain to find the drivers. If that's like your problem, there you go. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's kind of crappy. It's a 5200 um, FX, the FX5, and it's kind of junky. I mean, really is really junk. It won't play COD 4 because of the glow error, because it's too low for megabytes. So it won't play most games. But of course, ATI has the same problem with their lower graphics cards. Well, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think they're about, I have to say they're about even. I don't really, I, I. Well, they, but they both are graphics cards. The ATI Radon are I, no, is I, that's awesome, what, but ATI Radon is awesome. That's my point, is that they're both graphics cards. I really don't care. It's, as long as I have a decent graphics card, a little bit newer, not terrible, as long as it's going to be support, able to support uh, something like UT, which is on Fort Unreal Tournament. UT, uh, that has really low requirements though, yeah, like COD 4. Yeah, at my point. <laughs> if it supports COD 4, it's a good but, graphics uh, like, card. Yeah, such as COD 4, as long as it's going to support what I'm going to play or what I'm going to do. Um, you know, I need a good video card so I can, you know, make the videos that we do on Let's Talk Tech, even though those are just a black screen. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, yeah. you know, I need, I need a good, you know, uh, video card to, to, to do the stuff, so. Well, the video card makes your computer go faster, process the information faster. So. What? The, the, it's what makes. Video card does not process your information. It doesn't process all your information, but it helps your computer go faster when you're playing stuff like COD 4. It shows the video. So, the better your graphics card, the more or less sketchy it's going to be, because it's going to process the video faster. That has to do a lot with memory. Yes, but yours is shared, even. Yeah, but I still have 3 gigabytes. Okay, but anyway, a lot of it deals with that, and ATI has come out with better graphics cards than the Radon uh, yeah, the, the Radeon is a bit that. The, uh, ATI, the ATI Radeon has come out with not as good graphics card as the NVIDIA GeForce. The GeForce has come out with I, higher I like the Radeon level, well. the higher level graphics cards. We so. have Radeon. You have a GeForce. No, 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 in my PC. Yeah, you do, but those are kind of the older ones. And it's kind of junky. But okay, I would say yeah, I don't. I don't. I would I don't go. Care. I would say go with a high level NVIDIA GeForce. That's the best you can choose. But if you're gonna do video gaming, if you're doing high regular PC, video gaming. if you're gonna do regular PC gaming, it doesn't matter. You know, it really does. You doesn't. could buy. You could just get a free one. You know, it really doesn't matter. Especially it, if low performance, like he said, UT 2004. The requirements are yeah. like 10 megabytes of yeah. video man, visual memory. So yeah, it's not that not that big a deal. Okay. We're going to go to a commercial. We'll be back in a second. Okay.
think this is close to the babe? You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. The Cub Scouts, which was started in 1930, is the largest division of the Boy Scouts of America. It is a year-round family program designed for boys who are in the first through fifth grade. Its purpose is to provide activities for boys not old enough to join the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouting means doing. Everything in Cub Scouting is designed to have the boys doing things. It is aimed at citizenship, training, character development, and personal fitness. Some of the activities that are used to achieve these goals include academics, sports events, and camping. To learn more on how to participate in the Cub Scouts, visit www.scouting.org. That's www.scouting.org. Hello, back. welcome back. To I'm, Let's Talk Tech. I'm Alan. I'm Tommy. And our next segment is one of my favorites. Uh, Windows is not the only one. We're going to talk about how Microsoft Windows is not the only one. Basically, we kind of did this before. Yeah, this is basically a wrap up of <laughs> what we've done in the past and what we're going to do in the future. But what I really hate is when people are based only on using Microsoft products. So uh, let's say you get your Windows operating system, Windows 2000 to Windows 7, doesn't matter. But you only Windows use 7. Windows what? Your operating system is Windows 7. I know. No, I'm saying no matter what they're using. But no matter what they're using, I don't like that because I don't like it when people are just using the Internet Explorer, use Firefox, or use Google Chrome. You know, yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, sure. That's OK. And uh, we, I, I also don't like that people only use like the Paint and the Office yeah. 2007. It costs a ton, and Office it, kind of yeah. makes it too high for the price, even though they're going to get bought out. There, there's programs out there like uh, GIMP. It is a kind of like a copy off of Photoshop, but it's better than Paint. They've upgraded Paint. They've changed it. GIMP, Same thing with Notepad, but they, yeah. up, you know, it's GIMP is open source. Completely GIMP's open free. source. A lot of free technology is Windows. open source. Yeah, it works with Windows. Yeah. It's a great program. I mean, why not yeah. use it then? It's better than better than Paint by a long shot. Actually, there's another thing, Adobe Photoshop, which Adobe is Photoshop. so much better. So if much you can better afford than... that, go ahead and buy it because it's like $800. Yeah, for the program as it is, plus you get the upgraded version, which I actually like better the upgraded version than just the Adobe Photoshop. If you No, that is the upgrade. If you get the full everything from Adobe, it costs, including Photoshop, it costs about three thousand dollars. So it's not cheap, but they all are yeah, like pro Yeah, that's collection of CS4. We have some videos to show you. Yep. Uh, well, actually, just one video, but the one video clip on the materials that are not Windows, like yeah, the all, operating system. Yeah, all the, the stuff we hate, yep. all the stuff we we love to use, we use it actually. Yeah, the video is coming up. Mm. Yeah, sorry, we have a. There you go. Windows is not the only one. Mm. OS's, OS's operating systems. Ubuntu, Mandrivia, Solaris, Darwin, FreeBSD, De Deblin, Fedora, Noplex, Shockwave, Mac, web browsers, Firefox, SeaMonkey, Avent, Opera, Chameleon, email clients, Thunderbird, Gmail, Yahoo, Ly Lycos, picture editors, GIMP, Paint.net, Adobe Photoshop, and Office software, Office.org and Office Organizer. Okay, well, let's say, like we said before, GIMP's uh, a paint program, much more sophisticated than paint that comes with Windows. So, uh, so GIMP's there, and so is Adobe Photoshop. And GIMP usually comes with Linux. Usually there's something called, um, uh, it comes with the programs on Linux, all of them. Mm -hmm. It comes with Fedora, it comes with... Oh, yeah, 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 no, uh, come, what, what would we call it, GNOME? Yeah, it comes, with, it comes with GNOME, which is a series of programs that comes with Linux. 
So, yeah, that's yeah, it's, uh, but it's it, free. So I you like, can download I, it for Windows. I like the GIMP for using certain things. I like GIMP for using certain things. I like Adobe Photoshop for using certain things. So it really depends on uh, what, you're what you're doing with the Paint program. Sometimes yeah. it's better just to use Paint in Microsoft, but I prefer not to because of the fact I don't like the Microsoft products. You know. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, in general, Microsoft usually doesn't make anything very uh, good. Notepad, for example, for from ever since the start of it till now, uh, they just upgraded it a little bit in Windows 7, uh, so it it's a little bit closer to Word, but it still sucks. Um, yeah, um, they just pretty much want you to buy Microsoft Office 2007, and even IE, uh, what is it, IE 11 now, Internet Explorer. They basically are started to copy off what Firefox does. Yeah, Firefox well, will come up with what, an update like that's tabs. That's what everyone does. Everyone tries to copy off. And each other. now Firefox has been the dominant one, and Internet yeah, it's Explorer dominating is taking, Windows Explorer. Is uh, Windows back. Explorer is actually at the bottom of the list and my list. I would, as soon as I get the computer, if I wipe the computer and start up. As the first thing I do is I go in the Internet Explorer and I download Firefox. So I can use Firefox. I can't stand the Internet Explorer download where it comes up and it says, and once you download it, you can never find it again. There's no yeah. download slot to show your download. Well, there's a download fo folder somewhere, but. Yeah, but there is no download for, like, you open a thing. And it's really easy yeah. to find on Firefox. Yeah, you, it's harder to um, find your history. Yeah, even. You could clear your history easily, but it's harder to find your history. Firefox, it just is so much simpler. There's Google Chrome, the Opera, uh, not nah, the web browser, which is the fastest web browser out there so far. But it's uh, uh, the downloading features and stuff are kind of annoying to it. Yep. Uh, what else did we say there was? Most uh, of those programs up there were open source. There's only a couple that, couple that wasn't free programs. Like uh, Google Chrome? F uh, no, that wasn't free programs. Oh, that oh I thought you talked about open source. Yeah, the only, there's only a couple that weren't f completely free. Uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop was one of them. Mac is not free by any means, but it's a great operating system. Um, I think that's it from that list. Open Office is completely free. It's the same thing as Office. You can office. go Office.org. Uh, OpenOffice.org, actually. Go to OpenOffice.org. The program's called OpenOffice.org. Yeah. It's great, um, actually. It's, it's pretty much the same thing as Word. It's a free word. It's a free word. It's kind of, it's it does different. does the same thing. They change stuff so this way Office wouldn't get sued for making copying. stuff, copying Microsoft Office. Which, like we said in the past, Office 2007, Office 2003 is going actually to be stopped, discontinued. Yes, yeah, so probably you're going to either want to grab the Office 2007 trial or buy it as soon as possible. Yeah, but even then, I mean, at least Open Office is completely free. You don't have to worry about the days running out. Op open Office does the same thing, and if you don't have, uh, you don't have Office in your doing a project on that computer and you're scurrying trying to find an office program, you go to Walmart, you're sitting at 11 o'clock trying to do your, no, no, no. Download OpenOffice, it does the same thing. You download it and it's completely free. You extract the file and you start typing. The yeah, Word it, is the same thing. Yeah, uh, Word is the same thing. What I it's, don't like about It's based open on a office. 2003, not 2007, yeah. but it's based more on 2003 Office. What I don't like about the OpenOffice.org is the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint, I really don't like. I, I don't like anything else but the Word, really. Yeah, the Word I would only use. Um, PowerPoint, I'd use off, uh, the 2003, Office 2003. I don't really prefer Office 2007. I use it. I'm it's not too used bad. to it, mm -hmm. but it's it takes some time to get yeah. used to. Um, what else was in our list? A uh, ton of stuff. We have a ton of operating systems out there. Ubuntu, great operating system. Uh, Fedora, Mandrivia, all great operating. Those systems. are all Linux based. We've used them all. Operating. We all love them. They're great. And as we said before, little heads up though, you might need to learn a little bit more if you don't know very much about a computer. I wouldn't suggest moving to Mandrivia or Ubuntu. It, I would suggest moving to Fedora or, uh, no, Fedora. Yeah, Fedora is the main one. But if you want, Mandrivia is not too bad yeah. either. Um, like, I, like we said before, there is Google Chrome. They're making an operating system, so that one's coming out. Um, we don't know if it's going to be free or not. They haven't released really yeah, any they details really haven't about released much. what the operating system is going to be on. But, but. It, a lot of it's based on open source, so I'm guessing it yeah, will be Yeah, so free. it's going to be more like a Firefox thing. But yeah. Um, the thing about the, uh, going back to the Internet Explorers again, um, my, what Microsoft tells you to do is uh, they, you can only upgrade your Internet Explorer twice. You can only do that twice. You can only, only upgra upgrade and then you have to re-download. And then you have to get a new, uh, open, uh, you have to get a new version of Windows. 
my grandmother's running a uh, 2000 on her laptop and she's trying to open up uh, Facebook and her Internet Explorer and says, oh no, it's not supporting all this stuff. It looks really crappy. Why does it look crappy? One, she has an older laptop. Two, she's using Internet Explorer. Which doesn't have like the updates to get the, the new Flash, the new yeah. so, QuickTime, I believe. It's so used. it doesn't have that kind of stuff to it. So I told her, I says, go into Firefox, download Firefox. It automatic, automatically updates itself all the time. So you don't have to worry about that. That's, you, know, you don't have to worry about updating. Yeah, I don't You can update it as much as you want without a problem. I don't get why you can't just update as much as you want. Actually, I like that because let them do that because I don't use Internet Explorer or whatever. Anyway, they'll download twice and they'll stop wasting my bandwidth. Um, <laughs> uh, another thing we said was the uh, email clients. Yes, email clients, yes. Uh, like if you haven't heard of Yahoo, I mean, that's a no, big that's one. that's living under the rock. Yeah, that's, that's a really big That's living under the rock one. site. Yahoo. Um, Hotmail is actually made by Microsoft. It so used to we be good. don't we don't really prefer that because it's made by Microsoft. If you ask me, it's junk. I yeah, mean, it, I, you I, go I, there, I use it for junk. my junk mail account. Yeah. So, you know, I don't care what I put in. If I go into a website and they ask me for my email, I just say, okay, my email is uh, whatever it is. I forgot what it was. Uh, <laughs> whatever my Hotmail account is, is, and I just put that one in. And, and it sends you the spam. Yeah, and, and we don't it sends you the spam to the Hotmail account, and I rarely ever check the Hotmail account. Because it just gets spammed. So, exactly. you know, that's not that big a deal. They send I, me spam anyway. I hate, yeah, I, I hate All the... All Hotmail is spam. I hate the Hotmail. Yeah, and Hotmail, Microsoft sells real, your email out. The one I really like, um, I definitely really like Yahoo. Another one I really, really like, I just tried Gmail. Great web, uh, the email-based client. It's great. What I don't like about the Gmail is that the Gmail is, um, it's more, it's more basic. Yeah. And the Yahoo Mail, which is uh, more based they definitely on got doing more, your everyday computing. They have gotten more advanced with Yahoo, a lot more advanced. I would suggest moving to Yahoo if you Yeah, don't Yahoo, have all account. you have to do for a new email, you just press N. For a new text message, you press T. Um, just for a just a message, it, I think it's M. You know, uh, you can message people and everything right through your right through your email. You can even like AIM almost. Yeah. But not AIM like Yahoo Message through. Yeah. The you could text someone now. right from your email. You could text them to your phone. They could reply back to you. I, I love. That's why I love about the Yahoo Mail. And it's just so simple. If you want to send something to your folder, count how many what number folder it is. If it's the fourth folder down, you press you select the item and you press four and it'll send it right to that folder. It's awesome. I yeah. mean, that's a really good one. And yeah. another one I haven't tried is the Mozilla based one, uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Uh, I haven't tried that one yet, but I, I have. Uh, we use it. I use it for the Google for our Google. Uh, yeah. Let's talk tech one at gmail .com. I use that one for that. Uh, it's a lot like Outlook Express without the junk. <laughs> yeah, junk. Well, and it's not open the source. address book. Without the address book. And it's open source, so yeah, you can change stuff about it if you get the source Without code, the calendar online. and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's better if you want to do that, but you have to have a pop through account such as Google G or Gmail. Hotmail. Yeah, it, uh, it comes, actually. Uh, fi if you get something, um, fire the Mozilla version calendar. What, what is that called? Do you use it? Sunbird? Sunbird. The Mo that's a really good calendar. Yeah, that's a it, really good calendar. It program. knocks Microsoft's calendar to the ground, wrestles it, beats it, and then beats it again. It's a great <laughs> calendar. Tom, everything beats Microsoft. Yes, but this is like pa, 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 knockout, and then continues beating it. It's a um, great, great calendar. Uh, yeah, I, I love that calendar for the reason that um, you can put more than one address. Uh, uh, not address, uh, more than one event. Psh, no, not, that's not what I'm saying either. Yeah, uh, more your than home, one let's thing say, let's say, on each yeah. day. Well, no, 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 not that either. Um, let's say you have a home calendar you want to you want to manage between your home and your work schedule. You can set two calendars in that one and say, okay, I want to look at my work schedule and I want to look at my home schedule. You could either look at work and home or just home and work. Mm -hmm. So you could choose which one you want to look at or both. Um, that that's a really nice one about it is that you could that's, differentiate that's your work from your house. Um, that's that's actually really useful. It's meant for businesses and home use. Like yeah, I said. it's meant if you're like in a cubicle, yeah. you can actually home use, regular use, home use, regular use, home use, regular use. It's gone. Yeah, it's it's, it's awesome. a really great program. I really enjoy that program. Uh, again, it's open office, yeah. uh, open source, open so source. it's completely yeah. free. Ma uh, Mozilla, Mozilla uh, makes Mozilla all this. Mozilla is a you go to mo Mozilla dot 
com or mozilla.org um, it's you just look at what they have available they have cell phone operating systems available and stuff like that so there's all kinds of stuff available they're all open source you could see some of their uh, newer accomplishments that they're coming out with yeah and Mozilla also makes opera which is another okay I'm not a big fan of it but it's Mozilla doesn't make opera yes they do yeah no I don't okay it's whatever a, it's another open source and it, I, it's okay I, I don't mind I, it I'm not a big fan of it Crystal Glenn was telling me that she was a big fan of it I'm not a big fan. I it's okay, not bad. It's kind of like a big copy of Google Chrome, if you ask me, but a little bit less. I'd rather have Google. Yeah, Chrome. I'd rather have Google. I'd rather have Firefox. I'd rather have Firefox Chrome. beats the bomb. It's my list is Firefox, Google Chrome. How can fire? How can it beat a bomb? How can it beat a bomb? Because it is Firefox going at the speed of light. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Whatever. And the yes. fox is on fire from that bomb. Exactly. Cool. Okay. Okay. I thought you said um, it beat. But okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But yeah. Firefox, like Al said, beats the bomb. Remember <laughs> that. <laughs> That's Al's slogan. Beats the bomb. <laughs> we can do it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 but anyway, um, um, other operating systems, uh, Mac, we didn't mention. Uh, Mac is not a free. Definitely not free. Nor it costs, will it ever be free. It costs like $100 for yeah, the operating um, system. But cost, you, can get it, you can get it free with a Mac computer. Yeah, if you buy the Mac. Yeah, yeah. buy the MacBook. Um, I don't prefer Macs. I don't. I've never tried them. Actually. I was working with Mac today in, in Computer Club for at school today, and I did not really prefer it. Don't really understand it. Can't really find anything, but I could probably do it if I had some practice. Yeah, if we got used to it, we don't have the money for a MacBook. It costs about two thousand dollars for the everything MacBook. goes into money. So we don't have the uh, moolah there to afford a MacBook to screw around with it. So. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Mac at all. So, um, but yeah, that's another operating system that you could throw out there. I don't know. What else you want to? Um, this is all oh, the Solaris. The Solaris is Solaris. another. Solaris. Crap. I can't believe I forgot about that. The Solaris one, that's an interesting one. Um, because only you... x86 computers can support that. Yes, and you need a special kind of motherboard. You need a Sun Java motherboard, which is kind of an interesting. Not many people, I barely even heard of it. And it's sort of an interesting swing on things. It's made for high-level advanced servers. It runs almost like a DOS Linux application. It is open source, so it's pretty yeah, cool. It's all, it's, Trust it's, me, you'll the, probably never use it unless you go into some kind of high-level businessing. Yeah. Uh, the programs we're talking about right now is just programs that you can use. It doesn't matter, but it's not Windows programs. And I am not, I, the only thing I use Windows for is for the operating system if we me and thomas use linux as well for our operating system because we don't like microsoft microsoft uh office i mean yeah not microsoft office uh windows 7 is very far in advancement with windows but yet still it's not the best it cra i close. crashed it i've you know i've it crashes, we've crashed the trial. And yeah, we crashed even the trial. It's more like Windows 7 than anything. It's Windows the best 7 is Windows better 7. than Windows Vista by a long shot. It, it is. I'd rather have Windows 7 any day. But still, Windows 7 does not beat a lot of the Ubuntu and etc. Yeah. Linux the next programs out um, there. Such as their firewall. Their firewall blocks everything. Everything. Their programs, anything that you're trying to go out or into. Which you think is a good thing. No, 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 Any hacker that would try to get into you, it wouldn't block because it doesn't get incoming connections. Only outgoing connections. So, and the whole thing about the software, uh, whenever you try and download anything, it says, are you sure you want to download the software? It may harm your computer. Of course I want to download the software. I'm choosing to download the software, so that's annoying. Yeah. Well, I clicked on the EXE, I extracted the file, I'm going to go through with it. I'm not lying to myself here, clicking yes. I'm not trying to fool Microsoft. Yeah, um, so, yeah, I didn't get that. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> we're going to go to a commercial. We'll be back in a sec. Dun, dun, dun.
think this is close to the babe? You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. Welcome back. Welcome and back let's to talk Let's tech. Talk Tech. I'm Alan. I'm Tom. And our new segment, do you want to introduce? Our new segment today is going to be on, our first one is going to be on uh, Firefox and Twitter. They are just getting a third party application, which means it's made by somebody else. It's, whoa, a little flash there. Okay. Which is mean, it means it's made by somebody else and it's going to be able to, you'll be able to communicate via talking if you have a mic back and forth between each other. It's yeah, pretty cool. You, th from, f from Twitter, which to, is very impressive for Twitter. Because, to a Twitter to Twitter. Yeah. To I, I would expect this coming from Facebook, but not from Twitter. It is also coming from Facebook. Yeah, it's also coming from the Facebook The third well. party people who are doing it from Twitter is called ja, uh, Jaja, and the other, and from Facebook, is going to be Firefox. Firefox. I, like I said, I, I, I'd expect this from Facebook, because Facebook's more advanced, Twitter is more of a Facebook very Facebook has been coming out with a lot of good, yeah. a lot of good ideas. And Twitter, Twitter is a very, very, Twitter, very common. Twitter's just, been coming al along with a lot of basic stuff. Well, they're, they're trying to but change. They're trying to change a lot of the. Um, they've had a lot of add-ons. Definitely. Yeah, they're trying to have apps, um, stuff like that. They're coming out with new stuff, but the, they're just so. Uh, Twitter is just so basic between because you just type what you want to do. Yeah, uh, it, this is going to be very fascinating. Um, yeah, I don't know wh Thursday, where they're going with this. It's supposed to come out. It's supposed to be a beta version uh, as of Thursday. On Thursday Twitter. is going to be coming out, and we don't. And on Facebook, it's going to be coming out a little bit later than that. Uh, okay, our Yahoo segment really quickly. Forty-nine billion dollars was offered to Yahoo from Microsoft for a buyout, and Yahoo rejected forty-nine billion with a B with a B dollars from Microsoft for the bailout. So Yahoo is still Yahoo. Okay. Thank you, Yahoo. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to go on to what we're doing next week. Next week, we are and doing Beatles Rock Band. Yeah, we figured we'd talk band. about it. The um, great, awesome rock it's band. It's awesome. And followed by the, the next Dell segment, Hybrid. The it's Dell Hybrid. It's older technology. It's like it's a newer computer, but it's, it's older technology. It, it's a hybrid, and it's very small, and it looks like an oval. It's very fuel efficient. That came out from Dell. It's, a, it's like a year old. but Fuel it's, efficient. But it's definitely... You use the word fuel efficient. Energy efficient. Energy efficient. Definitely <laughs> worth talking about. Okay. Well, well, we'll see you next week. This wraps up our show of Let's Talk Tech. See you later. We'll see you next week. If you watch us, please do. <laughs>